what's up guys? So today I'm going to be answering two of the most asked questions I get on a regular basis. The first one is how do you clean up your stash and organize everything so it makes more sense? And the other one is the video game filters. What are they and how do I use them and what are the best settings and why? So today we've been getting into both of those. As always, timestamps will be featured down below. So let's get into it. So let's get into inventory management. I get asked this all the time and I want you guys to understand one important rule when managing your inventory. And that is you wanna have a space where you work with stuff and you basically wanna have your most important items at the top of your stash. And then what I'll usually do, the first thing that I'll do is I'll dump absolutely everything into this top part of my inventory that I don't wanna keep, etc. okay? So this is where I either sell or keep things. And we're gonna work our way down and basically we're gonna start from the bottom up and I'm gonna explain my process, okay? So down at the very bottom of the things that I don't access a lot, you wanna have everything that you don't wanna use, but you wanna maintain your inventory from the bottom up. The best way to build your inventory is to make sure you have no gaps from the very bottom and then slowly build your cases up. And you wanna make sure that you have no gaps for random things to find their way into, okay? At the same time, guys, you're gonna start with your gun. Your gun is the most important part of whatever kit that it may be. But I want you to understand the most important part about this is that when you're trying to save space, if you take Take both the magazine out of your gun and the pistol grip depending on the gun you'll actually save a lot of space here but an example if I really wanted to build a kit super quick let's say I feel like running this HK whack it over put the pistol grip on boom so now I know that I'm using a HK good to go all right so I've got my HK I've chosen my gun and then I just it's a process that I start usually I come up and then I'm going okay I want a bag I'm gonna alt click that on I feel like running a blackjack and then we're going to go ahead and choose what helmet we want. Do we want to run thick or do we want to run, you know, a little bit more medium tier? I am a big fan of the Wendy x fill so we're going to bang on a helmet. And then this is usually where I keep my armor, make sure it's all repaired, good to go. And then we're going to work our way up. See how there's a process that I'm doing here? Start with the gun. So then you're here and you're okay, all right, I want a headset. Feel like running the razors, so we're going to run a pair of razors. You're thinking about what map I'm going to run. Do I want to go to reserve? Maybe I'll think about switching out this slick for a tactic. And then at this point, we're finally getting to the rigs. This is where I'm going to start getting everything that I need. So got my rig, we've chosen a HK, so this is when I choose the mags accordingly. So I've made sure, you know, go through and make sure that these are all got good ammo in them, etc, etc. Obviously, the last little touch though is nades. Now, nade boxes recently got added. Unfortunately, they are a little bit awkward size, so the way I've had mine set up are in MBSSs. Each one of these, the top two are Volk containers, so inside these are Volks. If I'm going to run the long map, I'm going to run M67s. And lastly, we're going to choose what map. So this is where I keep my most important part. Anything you need to access a lot, you usually keep here. First one is obviously meds. So we're going to go ahead and go to Healy Boys, grab myself a Saliwa, and then grab myself some meds. And now we're going to choose what map we're doing. So usually I have all my keys set out like this, an extra paracord in case we're going reserve. And then this is where I grab my spare ammo. So I've labeled everything. And if you guys aren't sure how to do this, if you right click and and then tag you can set anything that you need to this is where i do the final checks for my character like right click heal all if i've just come out of a raid make sure i'm good to go and then choose your ammo make sure your water and everything is okay you don't have to have your inventory exactly the same as this but that's how i have mine set up and that's it for inventory management the first place you're going to start is in your desktop and if you need to do anything here for amd i'm going to put a link down below on how to access amd's uh color settings so if you guys are an AMD graphics card user, go ahead and feel free to use that. First thing you're gonna need to do is ask yourself the question whether you need to use the video filters or if you can do it through your desktop. The first and easiest and most reliable way to do this is right click on your desktop and go into video control panel. Once you're inside the video control panel, we're gonna go ahead here to adjust desktop color settings. You're gonna see it on the left hand side here. And then once again, you're gonna find the monitor that is yours. Now this is the primary monitor that I use, the Acer Predator here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that use Nvidia settings is ticked. Once I'm here, you're gonna see down the bottom, apply the following enhancements, and you can go ahead and bump up your digital vibrance. Now, di digital vibrance is essentially just a richer color within your game. So if all you want from Tarkov is a nicer looking grass and a brighter greens and bluer blues, then this is the way to go about that. All right, so how do you get NVIDIA filters? Unfortunately, you're gonna need to have a NVIDIA graphics card. The best way to do go about getting your hands on them if they aren't rocking up is to go to GeForce 
experience and download the latest drivers. Once you've downloaded the latest drivers, make sure you install them and then you're good to go. Once you start up your game and you're good to go, you're gonna see in the top left uh, corner here, it's gonna say Alt Z or Alt Z to use GeForce filters. You're gonna go ahead as soon as you're inside the game and she is started up, you're gonna go ahead and press Alt and Z together at the same time. And then you're gonna be met with this. Now, as soon as you're looking at this, you're gonna go ahead to the third one here, which you can access instantly by pressing Alt F3. And this is game filters. All right, so the main thing you wanna do is head into an offline interchange. And the reason I say interchange is I feel like it has the best mix of brights and darks, and it's the best place to set up your NVIDIA filters. The first thing you want to do is usually head into Oli. I find Oli is one of the darkest stores that you can set up and really helps you set them up and get them to the point where you want them to be. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is head in. If you haven't done Alt Z already in the inventory, make sure you go ahead and do that. But we're going to do Alt F3 here. And the first thing you're going to see is pop up is the first one that I have. You're going to hit here and then you're going to go to, uh, you're going to find the one that says details. Unfortunately, I've already added details here. So I'm going to press down on this down arrow and we're going to have a look at my settings for details. But the first thing you're going to see is a sharpen. So I'm going to go ahead and lower that sharpen and you're going to see the big difference here. So this is with it on zero and this is it with 100%. Now, obviously sharpen is something that's really important in Tarkov. But the reason that I would recommend having Sharpen on in this is because this allows me to see a sharper image, but my stream doesn't see a sharper image. And the reason that that's super important is when you're in the grassy areas, it's going to make them look like trash, especially on the stream end when your encoder is trying really hard to make all the grass look good. Next one I'm going to have a look here is clarity. Now clarity is basically sim simply just the difference between the objects. You're going to see here like a lot of the colors pop a bit more when the clarity is high. So I would recommend about 40 to 45% on this one here because you don't want it too high because everything starts to look a bit stupid outdoors. And the next one is HDR toning. Now, as you can notice that if I turn HDR toning down, you guys aren't going to be able to see anything. But if I crank it to max, you're going to be able to see really well. But the reason I say 45% or you know, or lower is because if you have this any higher when you're outdoors, it will be very harsh on your eyes. And the last one here we're looking at is bloom. And I want you to make sure that you guys turn bloom off because it just adds another layer of blurriness to dumb it down. All right, so we're going to finish up here. We're going to go to the next one. You're going to go hit add and then hit color. The first thing you're going to do when you have color is you're going to turn the tint color down to 0% turn tint intensity down to as the lowest you possibly can, which is 0%. Gonna have a quick look here at temperature. Uh, for temperature, obviously there's a difference between the bright oranges and the blues. You wanna have a, this set on 0%. You basically want no temperature whatsoever. And the last one here is vibrance. Now this is the main setting that I was talking about in the control panel, but this allows you to do it for Tarkov specifically. And this is literally the only setting within a NVIDIA filter that, you know, this and sharpness that I would recommend are the only two. If they removed everything else, these two are the only ones that I would still continue to use. So finally, the choice is up to you whether you use NVIDIA filters or not, but for now, the devs have allowed it and it's also allowed through Bad Light. We saw Reshade get banned because it had a lot of options that you can use to remove trees and other things to allow you to see at nighttime. So far, I've tried absolutely every filter on NVIDIA Freestyle and have not been able to gain a distinct advantage because if you boost the dark too much in any sort of bright area, you are completely blind. So when testing and setting up these settings, make sure you go through into an offline interchange in the darkest areas and also test them in bright woods. 
Once again, this is a personal preference for you guys at home, whether you like your game just a little bit sharper and more crisp without losing, you know, digital vibrance on absolutely everything that you watch on your primary monitor. Hey guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed absolutely anything about this video, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button out. It helps me out a ton. And as always, I stream five days a week on Twitch. The link for that will be in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching.